two non-zero masses, M1 and M2, are connected by a massless string over a massless pulley. Draw the free body diagram, write the equation of motion, ignore friction. The following forces act on the mass M1. The normal force from the table on the mass acts vertically up. The gravitational force on the mass W equals M1G acts vertically down. The tension T in the string acts horizontally to the right away from the mass M1. The following forces act on the mass M2. Since there is no surface, no normal force, the gravitational force on the mass W equals M2G, where M2 is the mass in kg and g is the acceleration due to gravity in meters per second per second, acts vertically down. The tension T in the string acts vertically up. Tension is a pulling force, pulls away from the object. Welcome to hdtvedu.com direct and simple education in seconds. You watch and learn, you do and learn, you play and learn, you pause and learn. Whenever we have one or more masses, you isolate the non-zero masses, define positive x, positive y, negative x, negative y, draw all forces acting on this isolated mass. If you have more than one, draw all forces acting on these masses. Indicate the direction of acceleration, if any. So, we have two masses. So, let's isolate mass M1 first. So, you definitely have the gravitational force acting vertically down. You definitely have the normal force so they balance each other. So there is no acceleration along the vertical. Acceleration along the vertical is zero because the net force along the vertical is zero. Now you see a string. The string does something on mass M1. The string pulls on mass M1. What is the direction of pull? If it is to the left, it is a pushing force. So that means it is to the right. So we have a tension force to the right. What is the only force along the horizontal? What is the only force along the horizontal? Tension. Tension is the only force and that is equal to net force is equal to mass times acceleration. Do not forget mass is m1 not m1 plus m2. Tension equals m1 times its acceleration. All right, acceleration along the horizontal is not equal to zero. Acceleration on the, along the vertical is zero. So again, let's just review it one more time. Tension is to the right. Tension is to the right. That is the unbalanced force. There is no friction. What acts vertically up? Normal force. What acts vertically down? Gravitational force, M1g. Net force along the vertical is zero. Net force along the vertical is equal to zero. So what do you get? Normal force is equal to M1g. Along the horizontal, net force along the horizontal is equal to mass M1 times its acceleration, A. What is the only force to the right, tension. So you say T equals M1A. Now let us close M1 and look at mass M2. We know M1 is accelerating to the right. M1 and M2 are tied by the string. So M2 accelerates down. If M2 accelerates down, so we have the, ex the direction of acceleration as down, vertically down, First, let us isolate the mass M2. What are the forces acting on the mass M2? Acceleration is down, so you expect the downward arrow to be greater than the upward arrow if they are in opposite directions. 
remember tension is a pulling force so it pulls away from mass m2 if tension is pushing on m2 it has to be vertically down so what will be a pulling force direction it has to be vertically up all right so tension acts vertically up what acts vertically down the gravitational force what about the length of the gravitational force arrow it has to be more than the length of the tension arrow why because there is a non zero acceleration vertically down so you expect the downward force to be greater than the upward force what is the downward force it is the gravitational force m2g what is the net force along the vertical net force along the vertical is m2a so you say bigger force minus smaller force bigger force minus smaller force equals net force this is for mass m2 all right so let's again review it you isolate the non zero mass look at the forces acting on the mass so you expect tension and gravitational force which one is greater gravitational force is greater because it is accelerating down so you say m2g minus t equals m2a now let us do the vector sum again we close m2 and look at forces acting on mass m1 and we see that tension is to the right normal force is vertically up gravitational force is vertically down along x what do we have force acting to the right is positive so you have t there is no force to the left so you get t equals m1a along the vertical what do we see force acting up is positive so normal force is positive gravitational force is negative and what is the net force zero there is no acceleration along the vertical now let us look at the vector sum for mass m2 tension is vertically up gravitational force is vertically down it is accelerating down so you say what acts vertically up positive what acts vertically up tension so tension is positive gravitational force is negative and what is the acceleration what is the direction of acceleration down so it is m2 times negative a so you get t minus m2g is equal to minus m2a multiply throughout by negative 1 multiply this by negative 1 and this by negative 1 and what do we get negative t plus m2g equals m2a or you rearrange and what do we get m2g minus t equals m2a so from the first mass we have t is equal to m1a from the second mass we have m2g minus t equals m2a immediately you see that if you add the left side m2g minus t plus t equals m1a plus m2a we if we add the left sides you have to add the right sides so what do we get we see that negative t and positive t cancels so you get m2g equals m1a plus m2a for those of you who want to go further here is all the math that you need t equals m1a and for the mass m2 gravitational force is greater than tension so 
you have net force equals m2a, m2g minus t equals m2a, you add the left side, you add the right side, and you get m2g minus t plus t equals m1a plus m2a. Immediately you see that negative t and positive t, they cancel out, so you get m2g equals m1a plus m2a. A is in red, take the common factor out, A is common to both m1 and m2, multiply that by m1 plus m2, so you get m2g equals A times m1 plus m2. Divide both sides by m1 plus m2 and you solve for acceleration and you get A is equal to m2 divided by m1 plus m2 times g. Once you have A, then you know that T is equal to M1A. So it is M1 times, let us again review what we did. From the first mass, we found out that the net force on mass M1 equals tension and net force T equals M1A. From the second mass, we found out that gravitational force is greater than tension, so it accelerated down, that force is down, so you have M2G minus T equals M2A. We added it, we added the two equations and we got acceleration. And then once you have acceleration, you can substitute into first equation or the second equation and solve for tension. The first equation is very simple, T equals M1A. So we substitute for A, we substitute for A. What is A? A is that, A is equal to M2 divided by M1 plus M2 times G. And so we get that. And this is George Matthew signing off, good luck.